Well, Renee, a newly constructed home, and I think these homeowners made the right choice going with the blown-in blanket system. They're gonna enjoy all the energy efficient and comfort benefits that yes, that system will. brings. Okay, new home, very tightly constructed as I look around, and that's really been the trend in the last 20 years. Build a new home, make sure it's tightly constructed. But along with that, there come some issues. Yes, the, the saying goes now, build tight, ventilate right, uh, because you wanna make sure any of the moisture that occurs in a home gets ventilated to the outside so it doesn't compromise the air quality. And when you're talking about any moisture that occurs, that's just from day-to-day -day life. Yeah, the average family produces three to five gallons of water vapor per day through breathing, cleaning, showering, doing laundry, cooking. Uh, all of those things produce water vapor in the air. We need to make sure that that gets to the outside before it causes problems. So the water vapor is really an indoor air pollutant. You yeah. say you want to get it out. What happens if I don't? I mean, if it just stays in here, what harm can that do? Well, you can see condensation on the windows. Uh, that's a common thing that I hear from customers all the time. They see condensation on their windows and then all of a sudden it's rotting their windowsill. Sure. It could cause spots on the ceiling, which eventually cause a black spot, maybe turn into mold. We don't know that. Sure. So again, that water vapor, it's naturally occurring, but you want to control it. You want to get it out of your house because it is an indoor right. pollutant. Okay. So a new construction, how do you remedy that? You say ventilate right. How as a homeowner am I supposed to know what to do? You want to talk to your contractor and make sure that he has paid close attention to the mechanical ventilation. So you want to pay particular attention to your bath fans, kitchen exhaust fans, anything else that ventilates that air and gets it to the outside. So you want to make sure your bath fans are sized correctly uh, hmm. for the size of the house. You want to make sure that it's venting not into the attic, but to the outside. Get all of that moist air outside and because otherwise it will cause problems in the attic. And then finally, you want to educate the homeowner so that they actually use that equipment. So make sure maybe your bath fan should be on a timer, exactly. for instance. Maybe a heat recovery ventilator, that's also a good mm -hmm. option. Exactly. And so communication is the key, especially in new construction. Convey your wants and needs to your builder when it comes to mechanical ventilation. What about in an existing home? What options do I have? Say I have a 10, 20, 50 year old home and I want to increase its energy efficiency. Aren't you sealing up all those natural escape routes for that moisture? Right, exactly. So the best way to start out with that is to get it tested. Have a diagnostic test done, whether it's a blower door, thermal imaging, where you can see where all of those air leaks are. They also will look at your bath fan. Is it adequately venting to the outside? Maybe that's part of the problem why you're seeing condensation on your windows. So addressing that bath fan and making sure that it gets all of the moist air out will solve some of those problems. And then finally have us come in and do the air sealing and add some insulation. So it seems to me like everything else in home ownership, be an educated consumer and you're gonna enjoy a much more comfortable home. Right. For more information on this and other energy saving ideas, be sure to check out the full video library at rockweilerinsulation.com.